Hello everyone, my name is Iana and today I am going to tell you the story Sophia, a new friend. So let's begin. It's art class at Royal Prep Academy. The students wonder what their next project will be. They don't have to wait long. Here come the fairies. <clears throat> your next art project will be building your own dream castle, announces Flora. Flora explains that they will bring models of their castles to school to share with their class. Since this is such a big project, each, they each will be paired up with another classmate. Fauna, be, Fauna begins to read the pairs. Amber will be paired with Hilgard. James will be working with Xander. Theo and Hugo will work together. But who will be paired with Sophia? Sophie and Vivian, announces Fauna. Vivian? Sophia has never met Vivian before. Sophia walks up to Vivian and introduces herself. Hi Vivian, I'm Sophia. Do you want to come over to my castle to work on our project? Um, no, well, I don't think so, answers Vivian. So instead, Sophia suggests that she goes to Vivian's castle. They have to work together on their project somewhere. So Vivian agrees and then quickly leaves the art room. Sorry got, you got stuck with Vivian, Sophia, says Amber. She is strange. Vivian never talks to anyone, adds Cleo. I heard she lives in a cave full of glow-in-the-dark bats, says Hilgard. The girls wish Sophia luck. They are glad that they are not paired with Vivian. <clears throat> it is time to leave for Vivian's castle. But Sophia is feeling a little worried. Sophia's mom asks her what's wrong. Everyone at school says Vivian is strange, Sophia tells Miranda. Hmm, why do they say that? Miranda asks. No one really knows her. She barely says a word. Sophia explains. Miranda reminds Sophia that she's not to, not, that she's not going to know what Vivian is like until she gets to know her better. Sophia hopes that her mother is right. She gets ready to take the coach to Vivian's castle. Just to be on the safe side, Sophia asks Clover to come with her. As the coach pulls up in front of Princess Vivian's castle, Sophia is surprised to see that it doesn't look scary. Vivian's mother, Cecily, doesn't look scary either. We're delighted you're here, Cecily says as she greets Sophia. Vivian steps forward and invites Sophia to her room. I'm sorry if I was acting a little nervous before. Sophia admits to Vivian, the girls at school told me some stories. I've heard pretty much all the stories, Vivian explains. Sophia wonders why Vivian doesn't tell people the truth. Hmm, well, um, I guess a little shy, Sophie asks Sophia. While Sophia and Vivian get to know each other, Clover gets acquainted with Vivian's pet, Dragon. Hi, I'm really excited to meet you, says Crackle. Clover is happy to meet Crackle too, but he's a little worried there might be fire coming out of Crackle's mouth. Let's do something together, Crackle says to Clover as he pulls the rabbit into a big hug. As Sophia and Vivian began to plan their dream castle, Sophia has an idea. Vivian can show Sophia some of her favorite places in the castle. Vivian brings Sophia to the music room. 
It is a beautiful room filled with instruments. This is my favorite spot in the castle. Well, really, it's my favorite spot in the world. Says Vivian, can you play all these instruments? Sophia asks, well, not all at the same time, Vivian says as she reaches for her mandolin. The mandolin is my favorite. Sophia asks Vivian to play a song on the mandolin for her. As Vivian sings, Sophia realizes that she really likes Vivian. The other kids at school would like Vivian too, if they just got to know her. Sophia has a very nice visit with Vivian and they get a lot of work done on their dream castle. Clover has a nice visit too. Crackle is lots of fun once you get beyond the fire breathing. The next day in school, Sophia and Vivian sit together at lunch so they can plan their castle. They are giggling all over their ideas when Vivian looks up and sees the other princesses walking towards their tables. In a flash, Vivian jumps up and from the table and runs away. Why did Vivian run off? Amber asks. Oh, she's just shy, answers Sophia. But trust me, you'll like her once you got to know her. If you say so, responds Amber. But she isn't so sure. After school, Sophia and Clover go back to Vivian's castle. Sophia wants to make sure that she is okay. Vivian is so happy to see Sophia. Vivian tells Sophia she wants to talk to the other girls at school, but she just got too nervous. Vivian re Sophia reassures Vivian that she will have another chance to talk when they describe their dream castle to the class. I was hoping that you were going to do the talking, Vivian admits. We both have to talk, Sophia reminds Vivian. I'll be right next to you. We can take turns talking. I want to, says Vivian, but I can't. How will they be able to share their dream castle with the class if Vivian won't talk? Sophia has an idea. Vivian isn't shy when she plays her mandolin. Instead of talking about the castle, they can sing about it. When it's time for the presentations, Sophia turns to Vivian. Are you ready? She asks. You're going to be great. Just pretend it's you and me and your music. Okay, here goes, Vivian says with a sigh. Vivian begins to play her mandolin and both girls sing about a castle that is blue towers, a moat with dolphins, giant trees and koala bears and slides instead of stairs. When the song is over, everyone in the class cheers. The other princesses crowd around Vivian. Oh Vivian, I don't know why you've been hiding in the back of the class. We must get to know each other better, says Amber. You okay? Sophia asks Vivian. I am, really I am, as Vivian says with a smile. Thanks, Sophia. Sophia has made a new friend. And with Sophia's help and a little music, Vivian learned how to overcome her shyness. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. I'll be back next time with a nice new story. Bye.